the coronavirus is a respiratory virus. It means that it lives in your respiratory system. The system that fights the virus is your immune system. And that's the system that makes your antibodies. When you ramp up your antibodies, you also have to come down on the virus. And the question is, can people have antibodies, but also still have the virus in their respiratory system? That is a question we've been asking since day one. And it seems like the answer is yes, you can still have virus in your respiratory system, but also have antibodies to the virus in your blood. We don't know if they find virus in your system, if you're still really contagious. Uh, it's just the idea that you can't be contagious is off the table. The longest anyone's really been contagious with this is probably about five weeks based on the data we have from monkeys and other countries. And so it's unlikely that most people who have antibodies are still contagious, but until we have better data, we have to act with caution. So if you know you have coronavirus and you know you've tested positive and you have no symptoms for two weeks, and you wanna go outside, wear a mask and gloves if you have them, because we have seen four weeks after first symptom, people who go to donate plasma, some of them still testing positive for the coronavirus. And we don't know how long that's gonna to take to get out of their system. When you go to Dini Plasma, one of the things they figure out is how concentrated your antibodies are. And the reason they track that is because the higher the concentration of antibodies, the better the donation would be for somebody to use your plasma. One of the things that's really important to understand is the data we're putting together for antibody testing shows you how many antibodies you have but it doesn't show you if you're immune or not. There's a lot of work being done on whether or not a certain level of antibodies actually does correlate with immunity, but we don't know that yet. And the reality is a lot of the information we have on this virus and how to manage public health in response to it is ambiguous, is confusing, is incomplete. And so we're doing the best we can.